Hi, how you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from Sky Guitar Lessons Online.com. Uh, looking at a song from the top 40, looking at Dua Lipa and uh, the song I D G A F. Now, you might be able to work out what that stands for. Not sure it was the greatest name for a song title, but Obviously very popular at the moment, she's doing extremely well uh, on the record sales, so um, uh, kind of simple songs to play, but in this track there's a little bit more going on, so uh, I've looked at doing an easy version of this, just using the chords, and in my opinion it doesn't really work. You have to play that sequence that I was playing just at the beginning. And before we get into the song, just want to say that if you do like what you're hearing, if you do want to get more information about this channel, click on the subscribe button, make sure you click on that bell, and that way you'll be notified every time I'm posting a new lesson to this channel. Now the first chord that we're playing is actually an E minor 7, but we're playing it up here on 7 position. But we're not going to play the entire chord, we are just going to play the 7 fret on the A string, we're going to play 9th fret on the D string and we've got our second finger playing 8th fret on the B string. From there we are going to move down uh, and all of these chords by the way are, are all played across the A, the D and the B string. So what we're doing, we're playing a 1-5, we're always playing this 5 chord and then we're either picking up the major or the minor third of the chord. It's very popular at the moment. Lots of songs are being composed this way. So getting this whole idea down of these different chords, once you get that, you'll start to be able to play some other songs that are out there in the charts. Uh, Justin Bieber did one recently like this as well. So we have got seven, nine on B string. We have got that minor third there on the eighth fret. Now from there we're going to move down to a D chord and again we're taking 5 on the A, taking 7 on the D string. This time we're going to play the major third so the shape we're going to take this time involves the little finger and that's on 7th fret and that's your D major. Then we're going to move up to 10th fret, now it's the same shape, we're going to play 10, 12 on the D, little finger plays 12 on the B. From there, a big leap down to the C major chord, which is 3 on the A, 5 on the D, and we've got 5 on the B. So they are the main chords. There's one other that we throw in at the end of the cycle, which is a B minor. To play that B minor, we're going 2 on the A, 4 on the D, and because it's a minor, picking up its minor third position, which is 3rd fret, on the B string, which is your D note. So, there are your chords. We've got that, that, up to the G, to the C. And it repeats back twice on that. Then the final one does an E minor, to the D, and we get this B minor, to the C. They are your chords. <clears throat> so, now let's look at how we play this, because there's two different uh, combinations that we're playing on this. Now I use my thumb to pick the D, the A and the D string, and then I use my second finger to pull up the B string. So now on the E, what we're going to do is... So I'm going thumb, thumb, and then straight on to the third finger, uh, second finger. And we can slap the guitar as we play that, and that also kills off the, uh, the actual sound of the, the notes. Because if you listen to the record, every single note is cut off. So again, 
uh, I've seen some people do this. When they play the second chord, they let it ring out because they want to slap the guitar to keep that rhythmic feel. But you've got to kill that sound off. So the first one, and then you can see I'm slapping. That's the method you need to get. Dan, 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 and then with a slap. Now when we move down to the next chord, what we do here is we're going to play the A, then we've got a half beat rest, and then we play the, the thumb, so we get, you hear that, dan, da da, the first one, dan, da da, and then dan, da da. There we're going to go up to that 10 position. There, that's the quick one. And then all the way down to the C. As you hear, I'm cutting every single one of them notes. Because I want to get that short sound as I play through. So you can do the slap on the first one, but you've got to focus on killing that sound off on the second one to get it the same as what is being played on the record. So we're going to cycle through that twice. Back again. And then... So we're going to cycle through this twice. Back again. We go back to the E, then we go down to that B, and then we repeat all over again. So really, to play this song, chords are not too bad. I'm sure with a little bit of practice, you'll get them shapes. But he's getting that, that quick on the first one. Getting that movement, and then that, that little delay. Da, da, da. And then... Da, da, da. So it's quick, pause one, quick, pause one. And even when we go down to the B minor, we do the quick one, then the pause. Da, da, da. Anyway, as I did say, it's a quick lesson. Uh, I'm sure with the information you got there, you'll be able to play along through. Well, I'm going to let you go. Uh, until the next time, this is Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com. Wishing you well. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Until then, goodbye.